What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel After Sound here and we bring you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream over on Twitch at this is After Sound as a username. Come by, say hello. We do giveaways every stream and we do giveaways every week here on the channel. So all you got to do is leave your in-game username in the comments section and uh, I send out or I pick out my favorite comments and reply to them in the weekly Q&A videos. So for those of you who might be new to the channel, this series, I believe we're on day 49 now, is the budget grind account series. So this is not my main account. This is an account that I guess 49 days ago, roughly, I put in $10 and uh, for the spell book and that was it. So everything we have gotten in this game, everything that we have acquired in this game has all been from just grinding daily, showing up for our quests, uh, either winning cards in chests or flipping the DEC that we win over into chests. So uh, I have to be honest with you guys. It has been a little bit of a grind. Uh, I am feeling the bronze nerfs, especially here. Now, that is not to say that there isn't tremendous opportunity. I'm still showing up and doing my quests, and we're going to go ahead and uh, check out the check out the reward for the neutral quest that I completed. But I, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of my mindset. You know, so my main account is in silver. So obviously I'm comparing two accounts, one that I actually put money into semi-regularly, but now it's at a point where actually I haven't put money into it in a while because the amount of SPS that I have stake or I'm getting from the airdrop, I'm actually converting that into cars or a portion of that into cars just so that the game can start to feed itself a little bit. But that's a little bit more difficult to do here just because, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to put any more money in. I'm trying to keep this as pristine and keep the integrity of the account as, uh, as you know, just clean as possible. So I'm trying to figure out how do I go about this in the best possible way. And I think renting for the next season is going to be the way to do it. It's just I need to, I need to do it smartly. And the problem is now that I know what silver entails, it scares me in an account where I don't have the same kind of uh, card collection if that makes sense. And so therefore the, the same kind of power overall, uh, strategies will remain the same, but you know, even, you know, what's funny is that in silver on my main account, uh, I'm playing with primarily level one cards. I only have one leveled up summoner and, uh, you know, there's very limited times that I can use them. It's crutch, which is, you know, dragon. And the interesting thing is that, I, I can go up against other people and my strategy can be sound and I just get overpowered by level three, four, sometimes level five cards. So, you know, I'm trying to level up my cards in here. I'm flipping everything. And at some point I would like to get leveled up summoners potentially, or at least start renting leveled up summoners. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we have here. We've gotten potions, I think three days in a row now. <gasps> Pelicor Bandit, welcome to the team, buddy. Let's go. All right. So, uh, it's nice to get a card and I don't know how many Pelicor bands we have. Oh, this is number two. So, oh, not number two, because see, as you, as you can see here, I, there's no need for me to keep the single cards unless I'm planning to flip them, but this isn't really an investment account for me. I would rather keep acquiring the cards and level them up if and where, you know, if, if, and when it makes sense. And I think the strategy that I've somewhat taken in the other account in, in terms of having, dragon be the primary splinter that i'm focusing on this that's probably what i'm going to do here as well uh mainly because that gives me the freedom to play a lot of the leveled up cards that i have and as you can see here um well i have a leveled up a leveled up pelicor bandit we have level two i have a leveled up pelicor deceiver I have a leveled up Gargoyle Lion, so, and, wow, I don't even know how we've gotten this many Gargoyle Devils. We must have bought a bunch, because there's no way that I've won this much. So, I've, pro I've probably flipped a bunch. The, the big wins, for those who may not have been following, the big wins that I got in terms of, I guess, monetary values, I, I have actually won three Wavesmiths here, um, which, I, the first two that I won were at the time when Wavesmith was, like, two bucks. Heatsmith, I don't even know what this is worth. Okay, this hasn't really appreciated much in value, but Harclaw was the other big one that's helped me kind of play death a little bit more. But Harclaw at level one, to be honest with you, is just not it's just not that great. Uh at least he's not that effective, um, especially for playing against another death team. So uh immunity is actually cool. And that see, having a level two Harclaw would be phenomenal for something like um would be would be uh, great for something like the poison rule sets as you get higher in bronze or in silver, right? 
Um, but I, I'm, I would need to buy or win two more hard claws at this point. And as you can see, I'm sitting on about two bucks <laughs> here. So with, in terms of DEC and my, the amount of DEC that I'm winning is just not very high because, uh, I'm playing in bronze two and it looks like I'm going to need to go back and, and get some more rentals. But end of season is always a tough time. If you're new to the game or if you've been playing, you know that this is everybody kind of jacks up the prices around this time. So I don't even want to mess with it. I'm happy getting my, what is it? Seven chests here. And we are going to just continue flipping this DEC into cards whenever we can. Now, the thing is, there's not much that I can really buy. So part of me, like I said, is, is trying to figure out, let's go ahead and rent and see how much power we can get up into bronze one. And then in that way, uh, we can start to earn, you know, anywhere from like three to four DEC per win, which would be nice because if I'm just showing up, if I'm just showing up for the, for the quests, that's actually enough, right? So just to do like the basic math for you guys here, like that's, that's enough to still earn something from this. So if I show up for the quests and, you know, here, let's, let's roll with this for a second. If I show up and do my quests every single day, that's 15 chests, um, 15 chests in like uh, over 15 days. And I'm going to even, well, no, we'll, we'll keep this since I am in bronze two now. So 22 chests every two weeks. Uh, so we'll say 44 chests a month times 12 months meaning that over the course of a year, I'm going to open up 528 chests. And I believe, what is the percentage of cards that you'd be able to win from that? Would it be 10%? Yeah, I believe it's 10%. So times 0.1 means that I should be winning roughly 52 cards a year. And those 52 cards could be any anything, really. So um, obviously commons are going to be the most common pun intended or whatever the word I'm supposed to use there is, but, uh, 52 cards is not a small amount. So again, for doing the bare minimum, just for doing the bare minimum, the statistics are still there. And here's the crazy thing, right? So people who are saying that you, it, that bronze has been completely nerfed, it's not worth it to play this game anymore. One thing that I do want to call out is the fact that uh, if you are in bronze three, meaning you don't have the power, but you just play with a starter deck and, and do your quests every day, you still get your daily quest chests as well as five loot chests at the end of the season. So it's actually just slightly less if we do instead of 22 every two every two weeks, it's going to be 20. So therefore, 40 per month. All right, hold up. 40 per month times 12 is going to be 480. Yeah, so you're still going to win 48 cards per year. Now, I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say, right? I know I know it sucks because people were earning more before, but the system was also broken and exploited. The thing is, if you come in with just $10, at the end of the year, you're going to win 48 cards, right? Statistically, you might win some, you might win more, you might win less. But again, if we're just doing some math here, and I, this is this video kind of got off the rails, so thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> um, if if we just do some basic math and say, okay, if we're gonna win forty eight cards per year. Oh, where's my calculator? Forty eight cards per year times what is the cheapest? If they were all literally the cheapest ones, the Nari Heatsmith times so point one eight, so it's roughly twenty percent. You're going to make, I mean, yeah, you're going to make $8.64 every single, uh, over the course of a year. So you would make back almost your investment after one year. Granted, you're playing the game and grinding. But that is also not counting any DEC that you would win, any SPS that you would get from airdrops. And as you can see here, I've been accumulating quite a bit. So the hope is that I'll be able to turn this into a pack or something whenever that, uh, whenever that opens up for the general sale. Or... If the pack is just not really enticing for me, then maybe this is something where I just flip this SPS uh, into credits and buy a card, right? I'll just let this build up over time and I'm not really staking it because, well, because I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. So I don't want to lock it up. And as you can see, I've unstaked and the next one will be out in uh, later this week. So, uh, okay. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Pelicor Deceiver today. I got a sneak quest coming up, so I'll go ahead and get started on that. Uh, I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you around the game, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.